Problem 6. Suppose that A cows give B gallons of milk in C days. At this rate, how many gallons of milk will D cows right, give in E days? So we're just trying to solve for this variable right here. Well, let's just use a big conversion factor because this is literally what the question is. Now, originally, we know what? We know the relationship between cows and gallons. It's A to B, right? But uh, we're trying to solve for gallons. So, 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 so let, 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 let's first consider this. Um, if we have B gallons, right? How do we know the number of gallons that the, the D cows would make? Well, we know that for every B gallons, right, A cows will produce it. But we have a total of D cows, right? So therefore, the D cows will produce B, D over A gallons, right? Because the cow, cows and cows cancels. This makes sense. For every A cows, it produces A gallons. But then we have D cows. So we have B, D over A. So the D cows, right, will produce B, D over A gallons. But we are, we are also given the units of the day. So, but that's also a pretty simple conversion factor, because what do we know is true about B, D over A? For every decals, it produces this many gallons. But how do we know if it's C over E, right, to get the days, or is it E over C? Well, we want to find the number of gallons that these new cows would make. So we have to multiply this by E over C, right? Because if we multiply this by E over C, E stands for the number of days that the new cow produces. C is the number of days that the old cow produces. So this is new, so that means the ultimate unit after the C days and days cancel, right, will give you the number of days that the new cows would make with the correct units. And so this is our final answer with B, D, E over A, C to get answer choice A.